this is the part which is really important which screwed me up a couple times and i couldn't figure out why type in what your new uh your username is for steam so uh, you know what that is for me i what i did was i copied and pasted my username and then i copied and pasted the password whatever your username is make sure you backspace one one space to the back i don't know why this worked but apparently that extra space was it, it was correlating or the this launcher thing thought it was an extra space or something and it's not i don't know it's hard to explain but what the fuck are you talking about man whatever your username is password copy and paste it uh you basically right click copy your username and then paste it and then whatever it is what? bruh What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Three Clues the Gamer here, and today I'm gonna show you how to install Fallout 4 London or Fallout London. The process is quite easy. I was very shocked, surprised that an idiot such as myself was able to install the mod without any hassles within minutes. It takes a little while for the files to download because I had to downgrade my Fallout 4 from the next gen back down to a previous version. But as you'll see, I'll show you, it is quite easy. So first things first, first of all, I would recommend if you have Fallout 4 installed, I would just uninstall it, completely uninstall the game. Go to Fallout 4 here, one second, right here. Yeah, I mean, you know how to install the game, it's pretty easy. Just right click, manage, uninstall. And then just to be safe, I would definitely go into your username. Mine is here, and I would go into app data, just in case. App data, go to local, and find anything with, I don't know, like what, Bethesda or something, or anything that says Fallout, Fallout 4, such as here. I have Fallout 4 VR installed as well, but we're not dealing with that today. We're dealing with Fallout 4. So right click and erase it. Go into local low, same deal. Look for anything Fallout related or Fallout 4 related and erase it. Go to roaming. Just check all these folders. I don't have it here either. Okay. And also go into your documents folder. Look for Fallout 4. If you don't see it in your documents, go into my games and here. I have a Fallout 4. I'm not going to erase it. I have the game installed already, like I said, so I'm not going to go through the uh, process of reinstalling everything. But this is just to make sure you have everything cleaned out in your system so you can basically restart. And I think those are the main places. That's really about it. Yeah, that is it. So after that, then reinstall the game. And unfortunately, it's going to be the next gen version of it. And one thing I would recommend doing is going into updates and click on to only update this game when I launch it. And after, I'll show you a little later what I also do. You have to go into SteamDB, the website, and find the app ID number and basically right click the app ID and click on to read only. And it should prevent the game from updating. So reinstall the game fresh it's going to be the next version or the next gen version and after that what you want to do is go into the fallout london site right here and it basically tells you step by step on how to do it um it says fallout london is available for free on the gog.com which i had to install gog and you do that by creating an account if you don't have an account if you have it then you're already one step closer to having the game installed so if you don't go to gog and basically make a uh, an account and it is right here and i'm already logged in and what you want to do is you can actually just add it to your library it's for free so it's not going to cost you anything also what you want to do is the most important step is you're going to need to downgrade your fallout 4 to the pre next gen which is what fallout 4 1.10.163.0 that is the release of the game that version of it and you get the downgrader by going into nexus mods which is here normally i would say read all this stuff just in case i mean you probably should but for me what just worked is just go into the files and download the first one the main one which is the windows version downgrader only and just 
manually download it and then you should have it and i'll show you the next step just want to look at some other stuff here all right i think that's really about it go into your downloads folder and right here you'll see the downgrader right click it run as admin and i'm not going to do this because i have it i did it already so yeah i don't want to mess anything up but you'll see like a, a command window open up. Don't worry about that for now. But what you need to do is you need to find the steam path as to where your Fallout 4 EXE is located, which is relatively easy. You just click onto that little folder thing to the right and find the path. For me, it is on the local C drive. Go to program x86, steam, steam apps, common, and here fallout 4 exe and you just select folder and then that is it and then what you want to do then is then you should go into continue i don't know if i should do this but i'll just show you all right here it is this is the part which is really important which screwed me up a couple times and i couldn't figure out why type in what your new uh your user name is for steam so uh, you know what that is for me, I what I did was I copied and pasted my username, and then I copied and pasted the password. Whatever your username is, make sure you backspace one. One space to the back. I don't know why this worked, but apparently that extra space was... It, it was correlating or the this launcher thing thought it was an extra space or something and it's not i don't know it's hard to explain but what the fuck are you talking about man whatever your username is password copy and paste it uh you basically right click copy your username and then paste it and then whatever it is what? Bruh. we'll stop it with that just go back one space and do the same thing with the password and then after that then you put log into steam and it should start the entire process so the process takes a bit of time but if you're patient it took me about maybe about 20 minutes or so and after that then your fallout 4 is uh basically it's successfully downgraded then what you want to do is you want to open up your gog or your gog games it's basically it's a launcher and yeah i have it already fallout 4 london it's already installed so i'm not going to press play because i mean well i'll eventually press play so i can showcase some of the gameplay but um yeah you'll see install you basically you choose where to install the game what i would recommend what i did was i made a folder in my c drive and all these games here you see these are my basically my modded games a lot of you know fallout 4 vr stuff and skyrim vr and i got all kinds of stuff here as you can see but make a folder called i mean you know you can name it whatever you want but for me i named it gog games in all caps and then you choose that folder as to where the mod or the fallout london game will be installed remember it's outside of x86 this is what worked for me after that it installs it took about i don't know 20 minutes or so i think it's 50 something gigs i'm not i'm not really sure but that is the basically the next step and after that then when you try to play the game it's going to ask for you to install it again so bear with me what you want to do is then you want to select and find where the actual fallout 4 game is installed and it's going to do something to that folder so for me the game is installed in the fallout 4 regular is installed in program files x86 steam steam apps com and then you choose fallout 4 and then that's it and then it does something to the to the base game and um yeah that's it and after that's done if you've done all the steps correctly that i'm advising you should be able to play the game no problem and then you can just press play all right so that is it yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and i'll try to assist you to the best of my ability all right and as always if you enjoy my videos if you found this tutorial helpful in any way please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel that said i'm out of here and here's some gameplay Oh, by the way, FYI, I forgot to mention after everything is said and done, the game is installed properly. What you want to do is go into SteamDB, steamdb.info, and you want to search Fallout 4. And right over here, you want to find the app ID number, which is 377160. After that, the quickest and easiest way to find it is go into your Steam, right click Fallout 4 VR, properties, go to installed files, and hit browse. Back up to 
Steam apps. And wait, what was the number? Oh, 377160. Yes, right here. Click it. Right click it. Click on the properties. And I already had it done already. I do it with most of my games that are modded. So hit read only. And that should theoretically prevent the game from updating. And that is, that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's all you have to do. And hopefully uh, the game won't get screwed up. All right. So yeah, I here's some, here's some gameplay. All right, here we go. This is Fallout for London. Pretty excited about this. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to start a new game. I checked it out last night to see if the mod was working, so I played around for a little bit, and it looks pretty good. It looks great. But I'm just going to start all over from the from the start. Do character selection and everything. So here it goes. Uh, make sure I have my settings. I'm just going to leave it on normal for now. Uh, controls, display. Yeah, everything's completely maxed out. It's not, this game is not that intensive. Although I've been hearing that some people are having issues with crashing. So if it starts crashing on my setup, then I'm probably going to have to use something called Buff Out 4. And I'll even try to install something called Long Loading Times Fix. But, all right, without further ado, here we go. New game. When I tried this game last night, I had the sound completely off because my headphones weren't working properly. So uh, they were charging my earbuds. So yeah, I uh, I don't mind watching or starting the game from scratch from the beginning again because I missed a lot of the dialogue and even the intro. And as you can take, as you can see, it's taking. A while for the game to load and I had this game installed on an NVMe drive so I was I assumed that since it's flat screen as well I assume here we go I assume the game would start up faster war war never changes since the dawn of man when tribes beat each other to death over necessities the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing, for the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire, and London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war 
war never changes. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. It's a pretty cool intro. Very well done so far. All right, here we go. Uh, male, female, uh, you know, male. Subject has been performing adequately. Okay, I'll look around here. The spikes and visuals, nothing unusual. Perfectly usual. I'm playing this game in 4K, by the way. Uh, if anybody wants to play this game at max quality settings, I suggest starting the base game up first and set up your video options first. That's what I did. Because if you don't, I think it, it will automatically be installed to like, or the game would play at like 1080p or something. Uh, let's see, I'm not all that thrilled with these with these uh, character selections. I'm just, I, you know, I always gravitate towards this dude. I always choose him. Even in my regular Fallout 4 series, I'm just going to go with this dude. And here, make him jacked. Here we go. And that is it. Yep. Yep. Whatever. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. And with zero anomaly. Of course. Now, what about their physical and mental development? Ah, oh, forgot about this. All right, I have to manually type in a name for my character. So I'm just going to... See. Uh, I don't know. Here. There you go. Reclusive one. There you go. All right. I'm just gonna. This is what I do in each and every game. I just distribute the points evenly. There you go. Except, uh, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't even know what these traits mean. I don't feel like reading it either. One thing I don't like about them is, uh, if you add one of these, there's always like a negative aspect to it. So I'm just gonna choose none. Eh, that's it. Gentlemen, I trust everything is going well. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. Thank you, sir. I'll set phase one on autopilot. See that it's done. Seems to be rousing a bit. Not to worry. Let's put them back under. Break these, break the windows. I'll take the goggles. Keep your lab coat.
Okay, I already did this previously, so... So far, so good. The performance is pretty good. Oh, I haven't... Technically, you know, I haven't actually reached the surface yet, so we'll see. Look at that. There's some uh, Freemasonic symbolism up there. Well, it's not really symbolism. It's straight up. It is Masonic symbol. <laughs> Curious as to what the devs are trying to tell us. T-shirt and slacks. What's this? Terminal. Ah. Uh -uh. All right, let's see. Let's do credits. All right, whatever. Thank you, devs, for your hard work. No idea what all this says. I'm not reading it. I'm too lazy. Oh, okay. These are the first enemies. The Rad Shrew. A small carnivorous, carnivorous mammal. The Rad Shrew seems to have mutated from its much smaller counterpart. The Common Shrew. Set the door. Nice. I think I could choose different ones. If I want to. No, I can only take this one. A lot of detail. Looks pretty cool.
This is the British Broadcast Ministry. I'm Bradley Fortworth, your host and guide through the wonderful world of classical music. Welcome to the program. Let's begin. Whenever I listen to this piece, I... Welcome to Crystal Palace Radio. I'm Artful Roger. I'll listen to that later. Alright, take that. Oh, okay. I can't actually pick it up, though. Power, the bloody thing won't hold you. You're nothing, Johnny. You won't need to have a fucking clock. Winston, you have a go. You got it, boss. Uh huh. Yeah, no power. I can remove it from the main network. But. What the fuck's that on the camera? By right outside, look. It made one of the floors. I don't give a fuck. Just get us out of here. They'll have to find the long way. Rerouting to emergency power. Where are you going? I doubt you'll make it far, someone such as yourself. You were more useful as a lab rat. Warning. 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 But alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. It's a shame, really. There was so much I wanted to do. Off you go then. Be seeing you. Emergency decontamination in effect. Teapot. Of course. Brits love their tea.
It's a pretty long elevator ride. Masking a loading screen, most likely. About time. You are quite the wayfarer, aren't you? Escaping all that hubbub. With all you've been through, I'm impressed. It seems kind of reminds me of Rapture from Bioshock. Very unprofessional of me. I'm Mr. Smythe. And you? Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Now, I'm sure you have many questions. And perhaps someday I'll answer them. But for now, Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. Since I'm all for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Stay safe. And remember, mind the gap. Pre-war rations. Hmm. Moldy food. Well, we can keep the moldy food.
London Bridge Station. Let me check around this area first. Photon Brew. Interesting. There's a Ferris wheel in the distance. What is London? Alright, I know eventually I have to go to the train station, but I'm going to go up here first. Everybody. All right, I've been here already, like I said before, and there should be a note here that says do it. Save it just in case. There you go. Oh.
Ooh, it's pretty dark here. Oh, more rats, damn. I wonder if I can consume its flesh or its meat for sustenance. Impact definitely need that. Oh shit. Where'd you go? Little bastard. No, I got no choice. Let me see what happens. Oh, I can. Oh, but I'm getting radiation though. That's not good. I think I'm going to need a ticket, alright? Tickets. Pink wafers. Birthday cake. Hm. All right, these cans here. That's about it, right? There you go. Shit. Aw, oh, man. Come on. Maybe it's this way. Almost. Nope. Oh, let's try it right here. Here you
Oh, what the hell is this? Rat was... This rat was friggin' glitching out. Underground station. Hmm. Oops. Didn't need to take the phone. Bobby pins. Tea bag. Moldy tea bag. Check out the underground station a little later. Cool. Oh, I guess I gotta ride the train. Mind again. Doors closing. Oh, nice. This is the London Overground Service for Bromley. This train. See some texture poppings. That was the prologue, I guess. All right. Hope the game loads. Cool. Oh, it's dark. Lab rat. Whatever those scientists did to you, it took its toll in your body. Until you find a cure for this ailment, you'll take 10% more damage in combat. Further investigation into your origins may lead you to the remedy. Railway spine. That crash left you rattled, and it will take more than a stim pack to fix this kind of damage. Until you seek out a, a medical professional, you will deal 10% less damage in combat. Wow. It's 
looks good. I see three people up ahead. Cigarettes? Why not? Bloody hell, what was that? Sounded painful if you ask me. Better not be those dogs up to something. I swear if it is. Not everything's the dogs, Johnny. You look like shit, mate. You are right. This one just came off the train, boss. Quiet, the both of you. Well, well, well. If it isn't the lab rat, you made it out. You're in a right state, ain't you? Never had a crash down here before. At times, people withhold information or tickets. You can attempt to persuade them into sharing both. Sebastian Gaunt. Who are you? Give me water, I'm really thirsty. Who the fuck do you think you are? Of course. Winston. Yeah, enjoy. Name's Gaunt. Sebastian Gaunt. And these dredges are Chill Winston and Johnny Shrapnel. But Johnny you can Shrapnel. ignore Johnny. We're the vagabonds. We're the roughest, toughest, sharpest gang round these parts. Not like the dogs. Snuff it, Johnny. Don't scare away our new acquaintance. So, who are you exactly? I'm not really sure. I woke up in a lab. There were scientists and I got on a train. I'm just lost, confused. I escaped the lab. I think I'm also a train wreck survivor. Unclear would it be if it would appear I was stuck in some sort of lab. I was able to escape on a train on a train out before it crashed. Is there a problem, or are you just enjoying the silence? Uh, I don't know. Here Only the gentry use those trains. Looks like you're the wayfarer now, like the rest of us. I don't think we're gentry. What is this place? Who are the dogs? Lewisham, or what's left of it. Well then, Wayfarer, seems like you've got two choices. You could head down that way to the Thames folk. Ain't exactly pleasant to look at, but appearances can be deceiving. They may even know a thing or two about that lab, seeing as they sold us the location. Otherwise, you can stick it out with me and my mates. We help you out, you help us out. Mm. Let's just say that we're not the only gang sniffing around London. And we need help dealing with the competition. Obviously, we'd give you a little pick-me-up first. Hmm. How can I put this nicely? They look like chewing gum stamped into the pavement. Oh, cute. You could just wander off in a random direction, but I wouldn't recommend it. I doubt that you'd last long in your state. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'll stick... I'll stick around. Hey, stick it out of them. we could use an extra pair of hands. Here, take this for the road. Its best days are behind it. A butterfly knife? A balisong. Okay. Follow the bag of bonds.
Well, I'll take the endurance. in the headlights situation, I'll give you a rundown of who's who in old Blighton, shall I? First up, there's us. We're the Vagabonds. Used to be big names in South London till a couple of things went awry. But enough about that till later. The cunts who made things go awry are the Isle of Dogs Syndicate. There's a fucking lot of them, and they all walk around with the gentry reserves in their skyrocket, so they got tickets to burn. They got that bees and honey dancing with the gentry. The gentry rule from their ivory towers, pissing off their pedestals from Westminster. Forget trying to get in there. Those gates are tighter than a duck's arse. Why are they so tight, you ask? Because they've got the Tommies to defend them. Powerful enough to take the peace, too stupid to keep it. Which means the occasional toe rags crop up and have a point at blighty leadership. This brings me to the dress-up factions. Take your pick. Camelot, the oldy Tin Man Knights in Wandsworth. Or if you fancy painting it black, you've the fifth column tyrants in Tower Hamlets. Next on the list, you've the twats in the periphery. Hooligans that'll smack you. Beef eaters that'll eat you. Jack Tars will stick a cannon up your arse. Roundels in Hackney. Well, they keep to themselves unless you've got a thing against scooters. Miller's men are the slapheads over in Islington. Neighbouring next to them are the Pistols in Camden who wants anarchy in the UK. All of that makes sense. So, as life dictates, you should probably stick with us. Know what I mean? The rest you can work out yourself, because I'm tired of monologuing. But yeah, if they shoot at you, they ain't your mate. Guns are more common round here these days, ever since Enfield opened its doors to all and sundry. You'll need to keep your head down. You ain't in that test tube anymore, sunshine. Now, left, right, left, right. I think they call it walking. We won't fall. Look where you're going. Mm, the AI is kind of wonky. Same ambient sounds are from Fallout 4. Like that metallic kind of sound. There it is, Greenwich Station. We've got a small camp across the road. The fuck? What? Ricky, what the fuck? They attacked us. Took us by surprise. How many? Two or three. IODs. Fucking dogs. Fuck them all. And what the fuck were they doing here? They... They were... I feel faint. Christ, you're pathetic. Wayfarer, get a first aid kit from Greenwich Station. More bodies getting shot done never hurt anything. You're the one helping out. Good to you're see right. everybody out to get us. Greenwich Station. Where's Greenwich Station? Oh.
All right, I think that is about it. I'm gonna continue in the next episode. I just wanted to test out to see if the game works or not. And to see if I can actually reach the surface and reach London. So yeah, it works so far so good. And uh, yeah, if uh, something happens, the game crashes, then I'll see if I can install the buff out for to see if that alleviates any issues, all right? So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the section, in the video section, or the comment section of the video. And I'll be more than happy to try to assist anybody with, uh, with any particular problems or issues, all right? So yeah, take care. And as always, drop a like and subscribe if you find my videos entertaining and or useful, all right? And so then, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Trying to be somebody else But no one hates you more